I look for a, a, obviously a great um, physical presence. Um, I'm often drawn to dancers who are not necessarily the kind of standard um, or what would be considered to be kind of the standard perfect uh, ballet dancer. Um, I like them to have a dis very distinct personality and not, not just, you know, in their, in their everyday personality, but in, you know, in their movement personality as well. Um, I love collaborators. I love people to, to kind of feed back and forth on my ideas. Um, I, I never go into the studio assuming that I know everything and that I can make this piece on my own. Um, I have strong ideas, but I also like for the dancers to kind of feed off of those and challenge me in some way. Um, but, you know, in general, I love working with dancers and they, they're cool people. And I get to see, I really get to see how their personalities as people um, relate to the way that they move. Because I, I go through this, this intense process with them where we, we go on a journey, we discover things um, together, we discover new things that they can do that they didn't know that they could do before. Um, they teach me new ways of approaching what I do. Um, and that's what's kind of cool about sometimes having these videos and these short films within performance because I feel like I want to just stand up in front of an audience and say you guys have no idea how hard this was to put this together or how many tears there were or how how much we laughed over this m moment because for me the process is so is so valuable and so important and an audience doesn't get any of that and some people will say well it's not meant to be about that it's about you know the finished product what you have on stage you know You've got a consumer, they pay, they pay their money, they buy their ticket, they sit down, they either like it or they don't. Um, but for me, so much of what, what is up there is the, is the story that you create around the, the finished product. So any way that I feel that we can realistically show some of that to the audience, um, you know, we try to incorporate into the performance. Well, I've been in Europe for the last six months working with several ballet companies, so I've been exposed to a few choreographers over there. Um, there's a fantastic, couple of fantastic people working in the UK right now, um, a young man called Hoffa Schechter. Um, I got to see, um, I got to see Ohad Naharin, who works with Batsheva um, uh, Dance Company, excuse me, in, in Israel. He was working in Denmark with the same company with the Royal Danish Ballet that I was working with, so I was exposed to some of his work and seeing him work a little bit. Um, that was really cool. I mean, he's very much a contemporary dance choreographer, um, but man, his work is seriously powerful and very, very human and urban and totally, I think, totally resonant to, um, to us as human beings. Um, and sometimes I wish I could be more like that. I mean, ballet is, it is a, it's a, it's a strange kind of ethereal art form. Um, it's very hard to look at a ballerina as, as a, as a person, um, just because of the, the way the body moves again on, on, uh, on the point shoe. Um, so yeah, so Hafesh, um, Ohad, uh, a fellow Brit, um, Paul Lightfoot, who works in out of the Netherlands Dance Theatre, he collaborates with his with his wife, who's actually um, from from Spain, um, Sol Leon. So they have like a choreographic partnership, um, and their work is probably more ballet based than the other two, but um, still pretty pretty out there, pretty wacky.